What were you saying? I missed the last part. Welcome to Inside My Mind, where we get into celebrities' heads to see what's really going on in there. Not sure what's gonna happen here, but let's go with it. Hey, how's it going? It's Trey, and we are back for another episode of Inside My Mind. Today we have with us Oliver Tree, a musician, director, professional scooter rider. You Thanks know. for having me, bro. I want you to get comfortable in the chair. I want you to start taking deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you're sitting there doing these breaths, let your environment form around you. Tell me about where you are. I'm seeing a giant bathtub. It's filled with very warm, very sweet water. Somehow the plug gets pulled out and the water starts spinning. And I start spinning with it like a tornado. I'm going. My whole body gets sucked in into this tube, this pipe. How do you feel during all this? I'm scared. I want my mom. And I'm going down and I'm going through these elaborate tubings and it shoots me out full speed into the deepest depths of the bluest ocean. I see something else in the distance. It looks like it's a, a yellow war submarine. I can see a captain in the window. He most certainly reminds me of my grandfather. Vibrant <laughs> rainbow turtle neck. The shortest shorts I've ever seen. And I'm waving at him. I'm trying to get him to help me. And, and it seems like he's, yeah, he's flipping me off. Flip him back. Yeah. I'll give him one of these, maybe one of these. I notice that there's a basement that's opened up and there's one mermaid and another merman and they're just pouring out in numbers to the point where there's, there must be hundreds of them. So it's probably the mermaid's family. They probably lay eggs like fish, you know? And I see that it appears I've become a merman myself. And the merman and the mermaids are swimming in this circle and they're spinning and they're spinning and they're spinning. Tornado underwater, what do they call those? I want you to just let the tornado take you. I'm going in. It's like a blender in there. Let's take, let's take some breaths real quick. We're not gonna get through this crisis if we don't have a level head. At the bottom of this underwater tornado, I see what appears to be a blue planet. I'm seeing blue mountains in the distance. Blue trees. What's it smell like? Blueberries. And I'm seeing blue beans. Have you turned blue? I have not. So they know you're an outsider? I'm possibly a threat. Yeah, be careful, because we've had a whole lot of people messing around with you in these environments. Where are they taking you? I just get plucked up by what appears to be a gigantic, obese version of myself. It takes me. <laughs> and it puts me down inside of this waffle iron and it just crushes it. And they pull me out and I'm shaped like a waffle at this point. And this bigger version of myself puts me on a plate, douse me in butter, pours all this syrup on me, grabs his fork and with one bite, eats it. Just let this guy swallow you. Go down the esophagus. Next thing you know, you're in the large intestine. You're coming home because this guy's got to poop. And pretty soon you're gonna come out that butthole and be back in our world. Just feel yourself leaving this space. Open your eyes and come back to where we are. Wow. Welcome back. How'd you do that? I'm not allowed to tell. It's trade secrets, you know. That was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Okay. I'm exhausted. Do you think Vice would have a bigger budget than this? They're using toilet paper rolls to hold this thing together. Are you guys actually part of Vice? I'm not at liberty to say. 